Hello all, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing things a bit differently. I'm coming at you with my top five things to be aware of as an actor. So let's get right into it. Number one, read the whole thing. This includes emails, but read your entire script, whatever it is, your entire sides, whatever it is, not just your lines, not just the lines that are before and after your lines, the entire thing. If it's only 12 pages, read 12 pages. If it's 195 pages, read all 195 pages, all right? It is incredibly valuable to know not just what your character is there to bring, but when you understand the writer's intent and understand where other characters are coming from, that actually helps you to create and build and homework your character that much more. So read the entire body of work. And again, this includes emails, okay? Emails are very important. Read who they're from, read the subject line, read the entire body, read the read the, the phone numbers and the email addresses at the bottom because you never know what, you know, the information, all the information that they're giving you unless you read the whole thing. I actually just missed out on a really big opportunity just a month or so ago because frankly, I forgot to take my own advice and read the whole email and I missed some really important information and long story short, your girl messed up, all right? So that's why I'm coming at you today with read everything, all right? Number two, number two, when you're at an audition, okay, specifically audition, but on, on set as well, be the person your friends love to hang out with, okay? Be uh, the, person's, the person of your friends or excuse me, be the reason why your friends love you, okay? Th because this is most likely the reason why you got the job. This is most likely the reason why you booked it because the casting director saw the thing that your friends see when you show up, okay? If, you're, if you have good energy, if you're in a good mood, if you uh, have a determination streak about you, that usually... Uh, want, allows people Either to want to sort of gravitate around. Everybody you. loves, and the reason why everybody loves you. All right. Number three, have a story to tell. I mean, you are an actor, which means you are a storyteller. So, have a story to tell. Have monologues memorized. That is a part of being an actor, especially a working actor who's constantly going out on auditions. You you need to know things. You need to know things about yourself. You need to know things that you can tell other people about yourself and in a, in a way that it captures their attention and gets them to want to keep listening to you because that is what they are looking for when they book you, when they want to cast you. They, they're looking for somebody that can hold the audience attention, whether it's stage or through camera lens, they, they are looking, casting directors are looking for somebody that can tell a story and, and grab attention. I always think of that song, um, that song, I Need a Dollar by, um, uh, what is his name? Black, uh, Alloy Black. Anyway, I was thinking about that song, you know, cause he's, it's, the song is, I need dollars, dollars, dollars is what I need. And if I share with you my story, will you share your dollar with me? And you want the casting directors to be like, yes, yes, I will share my dollars with you for the story that you're going to tell me. Yes. So keep that in mind. If you need dollars, be able to tell the story to get those dollars. All right. Number four. And this one may come off a little harsh. This one may sound a bit uh, rough. But it's all right. Had to reset. My camera died on me. Number four. Um, this one may seem a bit harsh, uh, but it's the truth. So I'm just gonna lay it out there. All your BS, all the troubles and woes in your life, leave them at the door. 
because nobody cares. When you step into an audition room, the only thing that you are there to do is to, to conduct business. You are there to perform uh, your information, your sides, whatever they've given you. You are there to do business as an actor. Nobody cares that your boyfriend just broke up with you before your audition. Nobody cares that, you know, your, your fish died. Nobody cares that mama's in the hospital, daddy came buy groceries, kids are acting a fool in school. Nobody cares when you're at that audition except for what are your lines and can you perform them the way we need you to. So again, I know this sounds a bit harsh, but it is the truth. And uh, a lot of, especially newer actors, it's hard for them to understand that because, you know, you get into casting director, you know, you, it may be some people you even know from, from other projects and, and you can maybe talk about that out in the hall, but when that door is closed, when it is lights, camera, action on you, only thing anybody cares about is your performance and can you nail it? So leave your BS, leave all the other stuff that doesn't matter leave it outside. It's it's going to be waiting for you when you get there. Trust me. And once you leave the audition, it's still going to be waiting there for you. But leave it out in the hallway. All right. And number five, which I frankly think may be the most important thing, be yourself. Be yourself. Because guess what? There's only one of you. And when casting directors and directors and producers are, are looking at your uh, work or are seeing if you are the person they want to book they're going to be taking a lot of things into consideration but I believe that one of the more important things that they are taking into consideration is are you just being yourself you know nobody wants a fake actor being an actor is not about being fake being an actor is not about pretending to be something I mean it it is, but it isn't. Uh, being an actor is about being yourself while portraying a character. Does that make sense? You can be a gangbanger, you know what I mean, in this production. And then in your very next production, you may be a school teacher, okay? The roles don't really matter. The characters don't don't really matter as as far as their differences. But what has to stay constant in order to be a good actor is you being you. You showing yourself through these characters because it is you. This is this is still your flesh and bones. This is still your temple as an actor. You're just sort of inheriting a character trait to go along with that. So please remember to, to just be yourself and and don't let don't get so in your head about trying to be something else because you don't need to be. You absolutely don't need to be something else, somebody else to be an actor. You just have to be yourself and be convincing at being yourself. <laughs> All right, thank you so much again for sticking around. Um, you know, I'll have some more videos coming up soon. If you like this format more than the cooking, let me know. Maybe I'll try to incorporate both of them in the video. Maybe I'll cook a dish while I'll talk to you about some acting tips. Just comment below. Um, you know, I'm still trying to build the channel, trying to get some subscribers, so subscribe as well. And until next time, act like you act.